In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Hello and welcome, my dear students, to our lesson today, which is going to be about Unit 1. Today, inshallah, we are going to cover many uh, aspects, as you can see here. Listen and discuss grammar, conversation, pronunciation, and, of course, vocabulary building. Of course, let's see. We'll start with the objectives of today's lesson. Today, inshallah, we will listen for specific information. We will know the difference between house and home. Also, we will use to and enough with adjectives correctly. Okay, then we are going to use the real talk phrases in new sentences. They also determine the stress in a word, how we can stress and how we can change the part of speech, as you can see. And finally, we are going to match new vocabulary that we are going to see on uh, pages, inshallah, 12 and 13 with its meaning. Of course, let's start. Okay, now we will start by uh, seeing these two questions here. Number one, what do you think is the difference between a house and a home? Do they look alike? Okay, I'm talking about house and home. As you can see here, two different words, of course. Okay, they are not the same as you can see. And number two, what are the most important things in your home? Okay, so after uh, differentiating between house and home, okay, I want you to give me the most important things in your home. Let's start with number one. Okay, what do you think is the difference between a house and a home? Okay, someone say, for example, someone said that uh, a house, it is like buildings, okay, you can see inside the block or inside the cities, okay, and home is different, like, for example, say, countries and so on, okay, but actually, actually let's, let's, uh, let's see how we can define these two uh, words. The house is made of concrete, it's a concrete, Okay, a building which someone lives in, okay, someone lives in this house, okay, so we call this a house when someone lives, but home is like bigger, bigger word, okay, and bigger idea about abstract ideas talking about, okay, like caring, laughing, and so on, okay, for example, home is about the family that live in, a house, okay? Family that live in a house, for example, okay? For example, seeing your mother, your siblings, or your sisters, okay? Brother and sister inside the house, okay? The environment itself, how you they live, and how you can uh, g get along in one environment, okay? A big uh, uh, house that hold uh, you, that's called home. What are the most important things in your home, for example, as I said earlier? Okay, for example, uh, um, the mother caring, uh, laughing, sharing with your brothers. Okay, this is the most. But now, we're going to see a, a something that known as, uh, as in houses. Okay, for example, kitchen. We have, of course, a kitchen where you can cook food and turn and so on. Okay, the bedroom where, where people uh, can sleep. Uh, the living room, watching, uh, for example, uh, TVs and so on. Okay, so the living room, uh, bedroom, and the kitchen you can find inside houses. But what about the abstract ideas we talked about? We are going to see now what I'm talking about. So look here at uh, this code from uh, Ernest Sign, Schumann Hank. Okay, of course, what is home? Now he's trying to define a uh, home. Okay, a roof to keep out the rain, four walls to keep out the wind. Floors to keep out the cold. Yes, but home is more than that. Okay, so more than that. It's more than uh, shelter. Okay, as you can see. It is a laugh, laugh of a baby. Okay, we said that. The first uh, on a mother, the strength of a father, warmth of loving hearts, lights from heavy eyes, and so on. Kindness. Okay, so now I'm talking about the abstract ideas that you cannot uh, touch, but you can feel. Okay, you can feel. Of course, here I'm talking about home now. Okay, where joy is shared. Okay, sharing sorrow eased, uh, where fathers and mothers are respected and of course loved. Okay, so this is what we mean by this is or that is home. That is home. Very good. Now let's go quickly to a quick check. We start with vocabulary. 
But first, we need to know the meaning of these vocabularies, okay? So these vocabularies, sorry, okay? So, complete the sentences, which is sentences I'm talking about, you are going to see later, inshallah. Atmosphere, comfort, furnish, loyalty, poverty, shelter, wealth, and warmth, as you can see here. And, of course, we are going to see the meanings, as you can see here in this table. Please take a look. Atmosphere. The mood or feeling in a place such as home. We talked about this, like environment, okay? Like big environment. Comfort, to help, okay? Or, or sorry, help or kindness to someone who is hurt, uh, hurt feeling, okay? Or feeling bad for some reason. Uh, furnish, to fill a home with furniture, okay? And other things it need to, uh, for people to live in it. Loyalty, showing constant support. What does it mean, constant? This word. Okay. Constant means all the time. Okay, support for someone, such as a family member or a friend. What about shelter? Okay, shelter, like cover or something like that. To protect from something, like a home, protects people from the cold, wind, rain, and etc. Okay, wealth. The positions of a, la a large uh, amount of money, for example, the person in person inherited some, uh, some money from their uh, parents or some uh, ancestors, okay? Uh, the property by someone or something. Finally, a uh, word which is damaged, okay, from damage, uh, or in poor condition uh, because of heavy use, because of the heavy use. Now, of course, we are going to uh, move to the, see the sentences, as I uh, talked earlier. The people showed what? Number two, when children have nightmares, mothers give with laughing words. Number three, the museum has a quiet and peaceful, talking about the environment, okay? Don't forget that. People who live in often have no food or and shelter, okay? Five, they had no money to their houses or their house, so they used boxes as chairs. Six, we have had this couch too long, it's starting to look. And number seven, we use the tree for during the storm. And finally, having great means nothing if you can't share it with others. Of course, we are going to see the answers very quickly. Number one, loyalty. Two, Comfort, three, atmosphere, four, poverty, five, furnish, number six, worn, and seven, shelter, eight, finally, we have wealth, okay, wealth, very good. Now, we will start our uh, second point now, which is grammar, as you can see, we are talking about today, which part of speech, which is adjective, okay, but and now we are talking about ordering, okay, uh, the adjective, how we can order the, uh, the adjective. As you can see, when you use more than one adjective before a noun, okay, sometimes we use it after, okay, and inshallah I will explain later how we can use the adjective before and after. But here, in this case, we are using this one, the adjective before the noun, Okay, the adjectives go in a certain order. You cannot use or put uh, randomly. Okay, you should stick to certain order. Okay, how? Opinion first, using opinion. Okay, for example, uh, difficult, be beautiful, uh, expensive, and so on. Then size and shape, large. Okay, for example, small, and so on. Age, young, ancient. Old, okay, giving age. Color, red, uh, blue, purple, and so on. Nationality, talking about uh, Saudi Arabia or something like that, British, and so on. Then finally, material, glass, wooden, okay, and so. So here, as you can see, this is how you can order the adjective in, in a sentence. Of course, we're going to see some examples how we can put uh, these adjectives in order. The beautiful, and I'm talking about opinion, old, age, 
stone okay now you cannot use uh, the the otherwise okay for example you cannot use stone uh, before beautiful okay or old uh, after stone and so on okay so it should be uh, arranged in th this order okay like uh, opinion beautiful old stone house has been put up for sale okay then I have two large brown sofas okay large talking about size okay brown color then sofas look here we have the nouns okay sofas and as you can see the house okay so here we use the adjectives in this case okay we use them before the noun what if you have seen something like uh, he is five meters for example uh, tall or it is five meters tall okay so talk and I'm talking now about using okay the adjective after and we use it after nouns when we talk about measurements okay when we use adjectives like with measurements we use them we can use them after nouns okay very good usually only one to three okay one two Three adjectives are used to modify a noun at a time. Usually, I'm talking about. Okay? Very nice. Now, we are going to move something called two and enough. And what it's the difference between what's different between two and enough. Of course, you may hear two means that very, okay? Too big, for example. Very big. Okay. What about enough? Enough mean it means like okay or fine something like that okay so as you can see here two means more than necessary okay two okay so like uh, I'm using this word or this one what about enough means sufficient enough okay fine it's okay and so on let's read actually when do we use them and how let's start with two okay now if you look at two here you would see that we use two okay before adjectives and adverbs of course okay for example too short too short here I use two before the adjective okay you are you are talking too loudly two okay so here I use it also before then I cannot hear or I can't hear the news what about enough now I'm talking about enough okay be, uh, be careful about that why because I have two statements here as you can see I use enough can be placed after after adjectives okay and adverb this one is before I use two before the adjective and the adverbs but here enough I use them after the adjectives and the adverbs okay look what is the difference between these two sentences here okay she can't reach the shelf she is too short and she can reach the shelf she is too she is tall enough okay so so here the first one too short the second one tall enough as you can see here now I've used two before the adjective but here I used enough after the adjective okay so this is how you can find the difference between these two sentences okay so I use to uh, or enough after the adjective sometime sometime I use enough okay before nouns as you can see here before nouns for example they should buy their own home okay they have enough money now as you can see enough money money is a noun okay very good a phrase sometime a phrase with two or enough can be can be followed by an infinitive what do I mean by infinitive when I'm talking about infinitive, it means that using two okay then I like to leave for example here look I used leave without adding for example the ing okay I cannot say for example leaving okay so I have to use the word as it is to leave okay to go okay and so on as you can see here you are not well enough to go to work today okay and the last one I have enough days off 
to go on a trip. Okay, as you can see here, these are the examples how we can use the, uh, the, uh, the infinitive here. Okay, nice. Now, we will move to conversation, the third point of our lesson today. Now look at this picture here. What do we have? Can you describe this one? What can you see? Yeah, it's like apartments, it's like a house or something like that, sometimes a hotel and so on, okay? But actually, this is a canvas. Do you know what this means, canvas? Good, okay? You can find canvas actually uh, inside university, within the wall of the university. Now, I'm going to ask you this question, okay? And I will divide it to three, uh, three sections and so on. Do college and university students in this community usually live with their families? If someone goes now to the uh, university or to the college, okay, do they live with their families? If they do or don't, okay, how and why, okay, and why they live with their families? Sometimes they, uh, they need to uh, live with their families, okay, in order to support them, of course, and uh, to go, for example, to take a ride and so on to the university, to, uh, to the university and from the university I'm talking about, yes. Then, where do they live if they come from another town? Now, thinking about another town, okay, as I said earlier, okay, they can use the campus or the, uh, uh, the houses, Okay, or the, uh, as you can see here, uh, sometimes they use uh, the dorms and so on inside the uni university itself. Okay, very good. Now, what about the retalk? Okay, how we could use okay, these words okay, inside sentences or within a sentence. Okay, so as you can see here, using cool means great. Hold on means wait, okay, or stop for a minute, okay, or for a moment. Out of touch, what does it mean out of touch? Don't or don't have a realistic idea, okay, realistic idea. Reality check means an assessment of how realistic something is, okay, how realistic something is. An arm and a leg, oh, this costs me an arm and a leg, this house, for example, or this car, Okay, cost me an arm and a leg. What does it mean? It means a large amount of money. Then, what about mega bucks? I'm talking also about a large amount of money, but here I'm not describing, for example, uh, my opinion or expressing myself. Okay, uh, it is like this house costs uh, mega bucks. Okay, so here, as, as you can see, a large amount of money. Grand, what does it mean? Grand means uh, well, for example, 100 grand, okay, 100,000, okay, as you can see here, thousand, and so on. We will move now to, uh, also to how you can describe, okay, describing what you are looking for using these phrases, of course. We have now six phrases, okay. The first one I'm looking for, number two, what I have in mind is, then you have to express. What I have in mind uh, is uh, a small apartment for me because I am uh, a new a student at the university and so on. You could use these, uh, you have to use your imagination, of course, to complete these phrases. I have my heart set on. Then, I'd love to find, also, I am hoping to find, also, it's essential. What does it mean essential? Necessary, okay? That uh, it's essential that I find, okay? I need this, as you can see in these six uh, phrases, okay? Very good. Now, we will move to something called pronunciation. You know, in English, we have written language and spoken language. Okay, so when I'm talking about the written language, it means that with grammar and so on, but with spoken language, we have to talk about pronunciation, how we pronounce words, okay, how we pronounce words. Today, inshallah, you are going to see the difference between when you stress, for example, the word present. Now, what is the difference between present and present? 
Okay, so now I'm saying this in two ways, okay? Present and present. Now, the way I am focus or emphasize the syllable, okay, as you can see here, okay, it gives us uh, the meaning. For example, which part of a speech? For example, present, okay, I'm talking about noun. So if I focus or emphasize the first syllable, uh, or uh, yeah, the first one, okay, I'm giving you a noun. But if I emphasize or stress on the last one, okay, like present, okay, reject. So here I'm emphasizing or focusing on the last syllable, which is give us the verb, okay, as or function as a verb. Now, in English, there are many two syllable words whose part of speech and meaning change if you change the stress, as you can see here, okay? Stress, the first syllable of most two syllable nouns, okay, are the nouns because I'm talking about the first syllable. What about the second, or the last, sorry, the last syllable here, give us verbs, as you can see here. Now, you are going to listen very quickly and try to listen, please, okay, and focus how they pronounce, how they pronounce impact and impact, okay? Let's go. Page 11, 6, pronunciation. In English, there are many two-syllable words whose part of speech and meaning change if you change the stress. Stress the first syllable of most two-syllable nouns. Stress the last syllable of most two-syllable verbs. Listen and practice. 1. Finding the right apartment can have a big impact on your life. Two, paying rent that is too expensive for you can impact your lifestyle. Three, finding the right apartment doesn't have to be an overwhelming project. Four, when you go to a job interview, you should project a sense of confidence. Five, be sure to read every word of the rental contract. Six, some people contract dangerous viruses while they are traveling abroad. Okay, now you have listened and heard how they pronounce, for example, uh, a big M, impact, okay, impact, like export, okay, and so on, okay, look like, uh, here, can impact, okay, so this is the difference between how we're stressing, okay, different syllable. Now, finally, we will move to the vocabulary building, as you can see, you will see these words where, on, uh, in the reading, sorry, on pages 12 and 13, okay, what I want you to do now, match the words, with their meanings, okay, starting with downsize, claustrophobic, nurturing, maintain, minimal, and amenities, as you can see, and of course, uh, we are going to see uh, very quickly the answers, as you can see, uh, downsize, what do I mean by downsize, B, go from bigger to smaller, okay, like uh, reducing something, okay, reduce. What about number two, claustrophobic, which is F, Afraid of small or enclosed spaces. Uh, three, nurturing. As you can see here, what do I mean by nurturing? It means caring, okay? Caring. Uh, four, maintain, to keep in condition or uh, to take care or, and keep in good condition. Uh, minimal, it means the, the least amount, the least amount. Of course, final number six, amenities, which is attractive or desirable features. Attractive or desirable features, okay? We have finished our lesson today. Uh, these are the objectives. I would like to thank all of you for watching us today. And inshallah, I will see you at the next lesson. Goodbye.